County Management Report, Mr. Pritchard. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, you will see in your uh, packet um, a list of um, items concerning the acceptance of private dirt roads. Staff has been um, requested to observe the um, process to determine uh, points of interest for your consideration. Um, Y'all know we have had a number of requests come before you for maintenance for roads that are not in the county road system. The second document you have is a propo proposed criteria for acceptance of private dirt roads that was <clears throat> submitted by Mike in the engineering department. This is um, his, I guess, first review and first recommendation for consideration. This is not uh, submitted to you for action at this point. It is really just to stimulate discussion and allow you to uh, work with staff to determine and fine tune a criteria for acceptance should you so choose. The second, uh, or the actually the third document, is a resolution, again for your consideration, regarding the potential dedication of private roads and thereby allowing the county uh, work crew to work on these type roads in the process that would need to be um, adopted by the board in order to allow such actions. The very first document is just a point of clarification of items related to this, um, defining certain uh, criteria um, as well as dedication and private roads and the maintenance of a road, et cetera. So I would um, ask both uh, the county attorney and Mike to make any comments and um, then we'll be be prepared to answer any questions. So, Walter, do you have any? Questions? Yes. The the outline um, that I think is the first document you have, I prepared this, um, and it, it explains that when lots are sold in a subdivision referring to a plat, that that creates an easement in favor of each lot owner. Um, now, importantly, the easement that each lot owner has runs the entire length of the platted road in the private subdivision. Um, the fee simple title to the center line remains in each adjoining property owner. Now, a county road may cre be created by dedication. There's a presumption that the legal interest in land that the county receives is likewise an easement. Uh, unless uh, a property owner deeds fee simple title to the county for road purposes, the presumption is the county's interest is an easement. The adjoining property owners each have the fee simple title in front of their lot to the center line. A dedication requires intention of the owner or owners, and it requires acceptance by the, by the county. Uh, property owners cannot dedicate a road to the county without the county accepting it. Um, the description must be specific. Um, there, it must show exactly what's being dedicated and what's being accepted. Uh, regarding the possibility of dedication of private roads to become public roads. Um, one uh, factor is um, in some situations the county may be able to identify all of the owners of the adjoining lots, but in some situations the county may not be able to identify all the owners. 
and in some situations all the owners may uh, join in the dedication but hypothetically in others all the owners may not um, now as you know once <coughs> A road becomes a county road the county is responsible under law to maintain it and as you know based on your agenda tonight um, there's a standard for abandoning a road um, so once it's dedicated and accepted it becomes the county road and the county is responsible to maintain it and may abandon it only if one of the two alternative criteria for abandonment yeah, is met regarding the resolution very briefly the concept uh, in this first draft resolution is for the board to resolve that the county engineer will develop and maintain and update over time uh, internal staff level uh, operating procedures for evaluating proposed dedications of private roads and then uh, the county engineer uh, uh, would determine whether to bring to the Board of Commissioners a proposed dedication uh, uh, and th at that point the Board of Commissioners would act uh, on a proposed dedication of a private road presented by the um, uh, county engineer so there is a dovetail between item one of the resolution and the criteria that Mike prepared um, and I will point out just in terms of sequence Mike and we were not initially working together and Mike prepared this criteria and we prepared the draft resolution all for discussion purposes earlier in the year Walter will you uh, point out the difference in the requirement of a resolution uh, such as this versus just the adoption of a policy or, uh, of uh, accepting these roads well accepting these roads um, the policy would be embodied in the criteria that would be or the operating procedure that would be developed and um, at the staff level of course if you choose you could of course have input into that but the actual acceptance of the roads uh, would require uh, action by the Board of Commissioners on a case-by-case -case basis <coughs> Um, in order to accept a road as a county road you may know this is analogous to when a builder develops a subdivision and the street is complete Mike presents a resolution to you accepting uh, that new subdivision road as a county road uh, until the Board of Commissioners acts on the engineers uh, presentation and the resolution accepting the road it remains the it's still the the developer um, uh, the the acceptance of the road requires board of Act, board of commissioners vote by resolution Mike the only thing that I was uh, gonna add is at the retreat uh, there had been some discussion about uh, compensation from uh, the property owners. Uh, the chairman had asked me to look at one of the roads in the county that uh, to bring it up to county standards. Uh, we were a little over ninety thousand uh, dollars to to bring the road up, and that did not include uh, you know surveying cost or uh, you know deed work or anything else like that. So we would be probably over a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, by the time we surveyed it and got the road brought up so I know it the only thing that this does not include is any kind of compensation from the property owners that uh, that y'all had discussed at your retreat okay. any questions yes um, I guess that was kind of what I was thinking along the lines so Mike I was wondering was there a threshold that we had talked about uh, perhaps for uh, any any private roads you know 
assuming um, there may uh, be a slew of people come forth um, if we pass this, uh, which leads me to my other question. Uh, approximately how many requests have we received for uh, us to take on private, their private roads? I mean, approximately, that you might know of. I mean, I, I, I think Robin can support me here, but I, I would bet that if this is passed, that we would probably have uh, a couple of dozen right off the bat that would, would show up. I mean, and I mean, it would put a significant financial burden and uh, on on what we're doing and what we're trying to do with, you know, uh, the SPLOS money and T-SPLOS money and everything else like that. Again, keeping in mind, this process uh, would be left up to the commissioners on whether you accept that road or not. The whole reason that this issue has been brought up is because of concerns and issues on three to four private roads that's in this community that we've had problems with in the past. Um, I agree that there's probably a lot of, you know, several private roads out there that folks may just say, yeah, let's turn it over. But at the same time, you still have the option yourself to make that decision of whether you bring it in. And I believe that part of that criteria that's mentioned in the resolution has to do with those safety concerns yeah. uh, as far as getting emergency vehicles into these locations that we've seen in the past. So, so yeah. again, just because they ask doesn't mean that it has to be approved. Okay. okay. That, that answers my yeah, question. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my <clears throat> I was just saying, it, just if they meet the criteria, that's great, but it's still at the – it still has to be approved by us. So, That's correct. So all those you know, 24 or whatever that came up wouldn't necessarily automatically go on a list to be approved. Yeah, yeah. let me clarify. The resolution doesn't contemplate minimum criteria if met would mean it would go on it would be list. accepted. Right. It's not you meet these criteria and you're accepted. Don't think of it in those terms. That's not the way it's intended. It's it's factors to be considered by the county engineer in deciding whether to then present it to the board of commissioners. Is that helpful, oh, Commissioner Ornstein? I mean, yeah. I was just thinking along the lines. You know, what we what would we tell the individuals that. We say no too, <laughs> and that's no. it. And we just tell them no, of course. But I'm guess, I guess, in, like we're saying, the engineering judgment, as well as the safety factors, are coming into play. That's right. Some of those criteria are built into the resolution that would allow you to make that determination yourself. And first off, the recommendation would be coming from engineering, in my opinion, based on the resolution of whether or not that road would be presented to you as a commissioner for for acceptance. Uh, what I would like to do, uh, commissioners, please review this information. This is something that's been out there for quite a while. Uh, we've talked about it a, uh, a good bit at retreat. Um, we've had issues with a few of these roads to be addressed. Um, so look at that. If there's anything that you would like to see added or changed about it, if you would, please get with myself or Mr. Pritchard so that that can be taken care of. Now, Mr. Pritchard, once that's done, my question would be, at what point would we have this information ready for approval by the commission? Subject to whatever the information or request of the commission, uh, we could have it ready within two weeks from the time we talk to the board. Okay. And I would clarify a couple of things about this resolution. On the one hand, this was just a first draft. That's just one point. At the same time, we could finalize the resolution itself within a matter of days. <laughs> um, and it's the concept here is that the Board of Commissioners would only approve the resolution. The inter, it calls for this engineer to then develop and maintain and update as advisable internal operating procedures for evaluating and presenting. Now, what Mike has called criteria dovetails with that, and we don't contemplate 
those being approved at, at the board level, we contemplate those being developed by the engineer, and he would be free to re review and revise those periodically without bringing those back to the board. Uh, that's the concept. I, I'm not s suggesting you have to accept that concept. I'm just trying to articulate that in my mind, we're not suggesting and don't want you to assume that you would have to approve all of the details of the criteria because the, the notion is that would be left to the engineer. So in, <clears throat> in simplistic terms, the resolution doesn't describe the criteria. The resolution basically just says if the criteria set forth by the county engineer is met, then... Well... The, the, the criteria, the criteria won't be criteria that will be met or not met. There are factors that the engineer will decide in bringing the request to the board. This is not a checklist of you meet this criteria, this criteria, this criteria, this criteria, and then he brings it. It's a, it would be factors the engineer would consider and then recommending or not recommending it to the board. It's not a checklist of criteria to be the, met. The resolution is not the checklist. It basically just gives the engineering department the opportunity to bring bring it to the board. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, I'd be able to get the resolution approved pretty quick. I, I would like to speak up on behalf of the engineer. Y'all basically are going to tie a pork chop around his neck and throw him in the dog pound. If all the if all the responsibilities solely rest on him, that's going to be a, a problem for whoever sits in that chair. Well, Mike's got a lot of pork chops around his neck. <laughs> you want as it is. <laughs> he doesn't need himself. another. He knows how to handle it. Either that, we either go with that issue, or we go, you know, consider others. But my point is, I'd like for. Y'all please to go ahead and review this. It's time that we get this issue taken care of. Review it. Get back to me with any suggestions. And then I'll pass that on to Mr. Pritchard. Or you can just give it directly to Mr. Pritchard. And then we'll move forward with it. But I'd like to move forward with that issue within the next couple of meetings. And have it resolved. It's time to put it to bed. I don't want to belabor it. But we're talking about you just, just the resolution. <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know, right. I don't want my fellow commissioners to think they got to go back and search through all that criteria and figure out all. At this yeah. point, it's just the resolution. Resolution. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Mr. Bridget.